record a movie. We can record a movie of all of our actions on the screen. To do this, we're going to go up to Render, and we're going to go to Record Movie. First thing we want to do is set the, the size of the, of the movie. Now we have presets here. We could choose any of these preset sizes. Uh, so these are kind of on the small side down here. Uh, so they're going to make a small file size. Uh, but I kind of like the YouTube, obviously. Uh, you know, these are very popular sizes. You can also uh, custom and set your own particular uh, number of pixels. Once you've created uh, whatever size you want, uh, then we have to come down to our timing. Now, typically, uh, an average timing is 15 frames per second. So if we record and we play back at these the same uh, record and playback speeds, we get a normal uh, movie rate. Uh, so we get uh, a normal uh, movie. However, if we record at a very low rate, say like at five seconds, and we play at a faster rate, we get more like a time lapse, a speeded up version of this. And this is kind of useful when we want the, the screen action to be faster than real time. So, um, so that's what we can do with, with the timing. Uh, we can also check automatic pause when recording when idle. So when we're not doing anything, we're not moving the mouse, it actually pauses the recording. So uh, you may or may want that or not. Now, what to record? The 3D view only is our 3D uh, tab up here. So it's only going to record this screen right here. Uh, when I set it to the mud box window, we're actually going to get all of you know our layers and object lists and all our trays and our pull down menus uh, is going to show. You can see in the preview here, I have that in the preview. I like the 3D view only unless you are trying to actually do some instruction perhaps. Then you might want to go with the mud box window. Um, you'll get a bigger uh, actual uh, more detail in this method in the 3D view method. Now when I start the recording, it's up to me to move around the screen and talk. Well, talking doesn't matter, but it's up to me to move around the screen and navigate my movie. And then when I'm done, I'm going to pause it. So uh, let's give it a try here. I'm going to do a start recording. You'll see it'll count down. And then now it's recording my movie. So I might want to do things like come up here and go around and I might want to zoom in and I'll and I'd say, okay, let's zoom in on certain details or whatever. And you can you can move anything with your view cube you like. You can dolly and pan all you want. And you can say, oh, let's look at this area here, you know. And you can look at whatever areas you like. And so when you're done, um, you, you want to stop the recording. Now, if you notice down here, it's recording and we have a pause and we have a stop. You can pause it and restart. I'm just going to hit stop. And now it says, oh, the screen recording is complete. I could just delete it if I didn't like it and want to do a retake. Or I could save the recording. Now, I do have some choices here. I can do an Adobe Flash. Um, if, and I can do a swift file and I can do a quick time movie or a file sequence. So I got to admit, these are not some of the best choices out there, um, uh, but you got to take whatever you, you can get here. Um, you know, for the most part, um, you know, I go with a quick time movie in general. If you just want to make a movie, um, you know, and it's, you don't know exactly what's going to be played back on. Uh, I just go with the movie. Um, and so you can then go and hit save as, and it'll ask you for what folder and what file name you want. And then it will save that file. You can go and 
open that up in a uh, in a media player type thing and you can play that movie back on the internet or on any computer so um, you know this is just a recording of your screen there's no voice uh, you can pause pan zoom whatever you want but it's up to you um, there is no smoothness to it and I'm just going to cancel out of here and I'm going to delete the recording at this point but you know if you if you go around and you go oh, and then wait a bit it's going to record all these actions so it's not like we're uh, in the movies with nice smooth uh, um, dollies and nice cameras rolling around you're going to get all the her herky jerky stuff of your mouse actions um, or your stylus actions um, but you might want to use this for a demonstration or for a client review etc so um, the beauty of this is you can zoom in and pan anywhere you want a dolly and track anywhere you want and make your movie so this is recording a movie